Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Bieber, proceed with caution. What is up my fellow beasts? Welcome back to Aiden the Juicy Call of the Video. It is your boy the Spartan Beast. How are you my lads doing today? It's great to be back with another juicy video playing my favorite Call of the Game of all time, Call of Duty Ghost. Let me tell you something. If I have to choose one Call of the Game, one map, this would be it right here. My lads, Call of the Ghost, Strike Zone. Oh, oh my god, I love it. I freaking love it. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, there has been a couple of rumors about Call of Duty stopping the every year cycle. About Call of Duty stopping coming out every single year it has been like that ever since the beginning as an old school quality player uh quality player as a uh, quality beast ladies and gentlemen i feel qualified to give microsoft some advice on what they on what they should do because i feel that um you know what i feel that good advice for free is always good right it, it doesn't hurt so ladies and gentlemen let me tell you, let me tell you what I think about Call of Duty stopping coming out every every uh, every year. Let, let's say let's say that Call of Duty is going to start coming out every 2 years. Maybe every 3 years like Battlefield. Would that be a good thing? Well, speaking of Battlefield, I mean the new Battlefield 2042, they had 3 years to work on that thing and it's complete garbage. Complete garbage, ladies and gentlemen. It's Oh my, like, I would, I was gonna buy that game, uh, and I was like, oh my god, it was, it felt so bad on the PlayStation 4, and don't be like, oh, that's because you were playing on the PlayStation 4, you should have played on the 5, no, on the 5, it was still bad, but it was worse on the quad, on the PlayStation 4, and it pissed me off, because there's no excuse to make that game play like garbage on the quad, when you have Battlefield 1, the greatest Battlefield of all time, and also Battlefield 5, that is amazing, and they play flawlessly on the quad. They are probably two of the best games like ever on that generation of consoles. The graphics are amazing. All the things you can do. The games are gigantic. The maps are gigantic. There's a bunch of things happening at the same time. No freaking excuse. So more time doesn't mean more quality. That's the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen. Giving or making every making Call of Duty uh, coming out every two years. Um, doesn't mean that it's going to be better, okay? It, it, because we have a great example right here, Battlefield uh, 2042. Let me tell you what the problem is. You know, these quality developers, uh, like, they're crying because they have no time to make these quality games and they have to make these quality games in a hurry and whatever. Yada, yada, that's all BS, okay? That's all trash. They have plenty of time to make these quality games. Three years is plenty of time to make a good call to the game the problem is that for the past few years they have been wasting times uh, wasting time on things that no one asked for they have been wasting times uh, oh my god they have been wasting time not times uh changing things they were perfectly fine no one asked them to change them and then they're broken they don't work so instead of using the time on what matters? No, they're wasting time on what does not matter. Let me give you a juicy example. If they stop adding a million useless attachments to the game, like a bunch of barrels, a million barrels, a million uh, sights, a million grips, a million stocks, you know, all that garbage in the creative class, because once people unlock everything, everybody will use the same one barrel, the same one stock, the same one this, the same one that all of that is garbage you wasted time doing you know creating all those million attachments and then at the end of the day people just use 10 attachments that doesn't matter if they stop wasting time on the, on like the emoticons whatever they're called dumb outfits they don't care about the doors that are all over the place the mounting the leaning the weapon bundles the vip screen and all you know those things that are trash if they stop changing things that don't need to be changed because they were perfectly fine for many years like the minimap like the map voting like the creator class and other things they will have one extra year if they stop all that garbage they will have one extra year to work on what matters and make a biblical call of the game because we have a great example in the past as i said i'm an old school Call of Duty player, I'm a freaking veteran. I'm a freaking beast, right? At Call of Duty. I've been playing Call of Duty ever since Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 was my first 
Call of Duty. It was amazing back in the day. I had a little sprinkle of Call of Duty 2, whatever. I played the demo, but I, you know, I didn't like it because I had to buy the game. I didn't have money back in the day. So I had Medal of Honor, Light Assault. That was my jam back in the day. I, I got it for free. I was happy with it. it had, I had multiplayer. I had a campaign. It was biblical. But once I saw Call of Duty 4 for the first time, I fell in love. I was like, oh my God. It's like I'm in a movie. I gotta get this. It was amazing. And then, you know, Call of Duty 4, World of War, MW2, Black Ops Uno, MW Triple, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghosts. Oh my God. It was so freaking good. Loved it. We have a great example in the past. The best quality games were done in two years. Just two years. That was it. They were done in two years, in less time, and they had less resources when it comes to the consoles, when it comes to the people working on the games. They had less of everything. And they made much better games than what we have now. Especially for the past three years, these quality games are trash. Old school Call of Duty developers really had passion for their game. They didn't, they didn't waste time on things that didn't matter, on useless stuff. No! They wasted time. In fact, when you're doing something good, it's not wasting time. They spent time on what really mattered. And that's why those games were biblical. Okay? Now we have... We have sunflowers at these... We have sugar cups. You know, sweet cakes. You know freaking leading these call of duty teams and you know they even say they don't play call of duty they prefer playing world of tanks like some sweet cake uh said from infinity ward and he's like one of the big guy one of the big guys i don't know if i don't remember his name it's something funny but uh, you can't say that you know it's just, you can't say that even if your favorite game isn't Call of Duty, you can't say that because you are the face of Call of Duty. So if you are working for Call of Duty, you gotta like it. Let's say that, you know, let's say I got an invite, like I'm a Call of Duty player, that's all I play. But let's say, let's say I get an invite to work on Minecraft. As soon as I start working on Minecraft, that's my favorite game because that's the game I'm working on. That's my job. I gotta love my job. And these guys don't like their job. And it reflects on the game. It reflects on what we get. We get a garbage Call of Duty game. So, you know, having, f like, adding an extra year to uh, to these Call of Duty games, making them, like, uh, coming out every two years, is that going to fix tanks? No. If they keep wasting time on things that don't matter, it's not, it, it's not going to be bueno. And let's say that, let's say that we get one extra year for these Call of Duty games. It could be a problem. It could be a problem because they might be trash. You know, can you imagine if you had to play Modern Warfare for two years? Can you imagine if you had to wait two years to get the next Call of Duty game? Modern Warfare. Oh my God. If the Call of Duty game fails and you have to wait two years for the new one, it's going to be torture. So what I say is stop wasting time on things that don't matter the three-year cycle is more than enough but if you need one extra year add a remastered call of duty to that for make it a four-year cycle okay add a quality uh, remastered uh, as the uh, the fourth one so first is infinity ward Treyarch, sledgehammer then we should get a remastered quality game because the remastered call because the remastered quality game we got modern warfare was amazing I loved it. So can you imagine if we get World at War remastered, Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered, Black Ops Uno remastered. It's going to be crazy and they're going to make so much money. And at the same time, they're going to get one extra year to make their Call of Duty games. And we won't get stuck with the same Call of Duty for two years. Because if it sucks, it can be a problem. If it's great, oh, that's fine. But if it sucks, oh my God. So add a remastered Call of Duty game as the fourth year and, uh, you know, release the DLC maps like they did back in the day, uh, perhaps with some free guns. Obviously, they should make the DLC maps free, but I don't see them doing that. But maybe, you know, if the community agrees, they could also add some free guns to these to these remastered Call of Duty games. I don't know. You know, it just it would be so much fun ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys think in the comment section below the bottom line is that more time doesn't mean more quality what matters is how you spend your time okay so that's all i got for you today i gotta go i gotta bounce thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out